If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description, and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Acosta here, aka JediBro95, coming at you guys with another video. So there's a lot we need to talk about, guys. Over the last few days, I have been completely just forgetting to to look at these, uh, to make a video on these things. Uh, so real quick, we're just going to do this uh, as well as go over the uh, Mutt news today, because apparently... Uh, they're doing Mutt ratings this week, and today they announced top 10 running backs. Tomorrow's they're doing uh, secondary players with, like, cornerbacks and safeties. And then I think uh, we'll, we'll get there when we get there, guys. Uh, but first thing first, I want to showcase to you guys the new this uh, from Mutt Leaks himself. Uh, Madden 23 uh, quarterback releases, basically. So a couple of new things here. You see down at the bottom here, you know, we go from... Oh, my apologies. So we go from this... You know, one thing that really catches my eye is there's still, like, the same ones you got, you know, you know, like, style name, generic one, two, three, four, traditional, yada, yada, yada. So, so for, the, like, the first one, you know, like, so, for, like, if it's zero, like, from what I understand, for, like, the value, like, the value is, like, the number here, and then it corresponds with a release. So, for example, uh, if the person has a one, they have generic two. So, you know, Tyra Taylor... Uh, Brett Hutley and uh, Blaine Gabbert have uh, number two. Uh, then you have generic three. You know, a lot of players still have generic three. Davis Mills, Carson Strong, Derek Carr, uh, Trey Lance, Russell Wilson. I know I saw on here. He's right there. Uh, you know, uh, Cam Newton, Gardner Minshew. Then you have, you know, new traditional ones, which is only Tom Brady. Uh, Tom Brady is the only quarterback in the game with traditional one as of right now. Um, you know, keep on going through, you know, Slinger 3, Patrick Mahomes, Slinger 4 is Lamar Jackson, but then you got brand new releases this coming year, uh, for Madden 23, uh, you got, you know, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Sam Howell, Justin Herbert, Kyler Murray, Matthew Stafford, and Malik Willis, as you see right here, all have new releases. Now, this is both good and bad, because on one hand, I like this because of the fact that they're trying to capture the quarterback releases down to the T, and they're trying to make it seem like they're going to be more focused on the details. But at the same time, though, we don't necessarily know how good or bad these releases are. And I fear that even if, say, like Josh Allen, for example, if he doesn't have anywhere near generic threes speed, like... If he doesn't have that type of speed on his release, I fear he may not become a usable card. Or he might be a card that not a pe many people are going to look to use because of it. It's a shame because Josh Allen is a great player and he's a he normally has some great ca cards. But it, it's something that I am a little bit afraid of. Same with guys like Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford uh, had a terrible release. I think he had like Slinger 3. He had Mahomes release last year. Uh, where is Mahomes, uh, number 10, Slinger 3? Yeah, he had Mahomes release. So, yeah, it's a little bit concerning when you really think about it, but I'm looking forward to seeing what these do have. Uh, next, also, you have the new rookies that are in the game. Like, these are all rookies, for the most part, that were dug up for, like, rookie premier players. This is their regs, like, you know, their player traits. Uh, so this is all 32 rookie premieres. Uh, so as you see here, you know, big hitter, you know, some got big hitter. Defensive line, bull rush, their clutch trait, possession catch, drop open pass. You know, a couple of them have drop open pass, D line spin, uh, feet inbounds, like sideline catches, fighting for yards. Oops, my apologies again. Fight for yards, high motor, high point catch, which is a new one this year. Um, basically, it's, um, to my understanding, for high point catch, it is just players who will go up and jump to make a play on the ball, uh, which. Kind of a good thing, actually. Uh, you know, you got low tackle players. You know, you got tight spiral. You know, you, then you got your yards after the catch, guys. And then you got your positions. So, I mean, these are okay. The one thing that I really am... The one thing I like the most for these player traits that I care about the most is the fighting for yards. I care about this a lot, mainly on running backs. But, you know, if a wide receiver uh, fights for extra yards, uh, that's fine. Feet and bounds and possession catch, I do care about it quite a bit because obviously throwing to the sideline, making sure you get those feet inbounds and you get the possession catch on the sideline definitely does help out a lot. And then I'm interested to see what this high point catch can do. Uh, how good will this high point catch be? Uh, so with that being said, that is it for th those things. Uh, and then as you get just see looking at the new, like here is the um, 
you know, the, um, comparison for the, um, releases, so for the, uh, quarterbacks, I don't necessarily know. As of the beta Slinger, okay, here, looking on the side here, let me just put this over here. As of now, Slinger is up, to, goes up to nine, traditional goes up to seven, with seven new styles, two traditional, traditional five Slinger, uh, introduced, and credits go to YouTuber, I'm that Matt, so... Uh, there is that. Then we move on to the uh, content schedule for the week. Uh, we did get some news about Mutt ratings. So here's what's going to be for this week. So we got top 10 running backs today. Uh, we'll go over them here in a minute. Tomorrow, we're going to get top 10 safeties and corners. Uh, so basically the secondary. Uh, on the third, we're going to get uh, basically linebackers and defensive ends. Four, on the fourth is a special stream, and they have announced... Uh, if you just look on the side right here, he has announced that uh, Matt, the QBs and some more players will be revealed during the special stream. I think this is going to be where they announce the Mutt Master and the team camp, uh, team captains. Uh, I think this is when they're going to announce those, as well as maybe like the first promo, like the Superstars promo or the Headliners, as it's going to be called this year. Um, but, you know, that's going to be interesting. Uh, and then you got... Uh, on the fifth, you got top 10 pass catchers for tight ends and wide receivers. So, um, but yeah, so I'm like, th this is looking pretty good. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Uh, and then in terms of the top 10 back, so here is the order. We got Derrick Henry, number one, Jonathan Taylor, second, Nick Chubb, third, Dalvin Cook, Christian McCaffrey, uh, Alvin Kamara, Austin Eckler, uh, um, Joe Mixon, Najee Harris, and Cordero Patterson. So we'll look at Derrick Henry. Uh, 84 speed, 88 trucking, 88 carrying. Big, meaty, girthy fuck. Definitely would like to put him on the goal line and just punch my way through if I'm a Titans fan. Love this card at the beginning of the year as a big, meaty back. Then we have Jonathan Taylor. 85 speed, not bad. Uh, got great break tackles, solid change of direction. Um, you know, I think, I'm thinking like 85, 86 is going to be the starting point for the year, um, which I'm good with, honestly, as long as their speed isn't too fast and isn't something that, you know, ruins the game, makes the game end quickly. I'm, I'm okay with where we're at. Nick Chubb coming in with 83 speed, but 86 trucking and break tackle with a 79 change of direction. Then we have Dalvin Cook for the Vikings, 84 speed, 84 agility 84 care 84 change of direction pretty balanced back overall um now there is one thing i'm going to point out here at one uh, which i'll do at the end of this so now we move on to christian mccaffrey 83 speed and acceleration 85 agility 83 carrying 84 change of direction then we have alvin kamara with 84 speed uh, 84 overall with 83 speed my apologies with 81 trucking 83 break tackle love this alvin kamara card uh, and then we have Austin Eckler, <laughs> 83 speed, uh, 81 uh, break tackle, 84 carrying. Does not really compute with the archetype. I definitely do think he should have stayed as receiving back. Uh, I, he was in Madden 21. I don't remember what he was in Madden 22. I think he was an elusive back in 22, which I don't think he should be. Uh, and then we got Joe Mixon. He's now an 83 overall, so we got uh, 82 speed, 83 acceleration, 82 break tackle, 83 carrying. Uh, moving on to the next one, Najee Harris, who's number nine, uh, 82 speed, 83 tuck, trucking, 82 break tackle, 84 carrying, you know, great stats all the way around. And then finally, if we got Cordero Patterson for the Falcons, 82 speed, 83 agility, 78 carrying, 78 catching, you know, not bad overall. But if you have noticed throughout these, you can see right down here, there is no power up symbol. And a lot of people, including myself, are wondering what is going on with this. My theory is that power ups are gone this year. They're going to be making the base elite card the beginning of the power up, which is something that people were asking for for Madden 22, but they never actually did it. So I think they're going to do it this year, which I would be completely fine with. I know they've already, uh, RG has already confirmed that training will be in Madden 22, uh, 23. He has already confirmed that training will be in the game because he did say that that's how you get abilities. But I wonder if training is going to also be in the game for the, um, for, uh, hang on a second here. I'm trying to like skim back through. I don't know why it's not working for me, but I wonder if they're going to be doing that for, um, player upgrades as well maybe the elite, base elite is the start of the power up and then you just go from there uh because again there is no power up symbol uh, and i think last year when they did reveal some stuff 
uh, for the team, for Ultimate Team, when they did finally get to revealing some players, they never actually, they did showcase that this card had a power-up on the symbol, on the base elite, if I remember correctly, so, you know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what this is going to be, how this is going to play out, I am actually super excited for this, I think it's going to be a great year for Mutt, um, again, we got tomorrow, we got safeties and corners, I definitely will make a video going over the top 10 safeties and cornerbacks tomorrow, uh, so do keep an eye out for that, guys. But until then, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, hit the like button below and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I will just continue to skim through until the end, uh, just showcasing the running backs one more time uh, in case you guys did miss them. But until the next time, I'll see you all in the next video, guys. I'm out. Peace.